Hello, everyone! We hope you're ready for another episode of Mech Arena Weapon Spotlight. I know our videos are always great, but this one promises to get personal. Uh, is that… are we allowed? Up close and personal, that is. That's right, we're talking about close-range weapons. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried this was about to get weird. Not weird, just awesome. We'll be analyzing two weapons, shotguns and arc torrents, the ultimate in-your-face wrecking machines. Ah, okay, sure. Actually, shotguns are some of my favorite weapons, really in almost any game. Oh yeah, there's no feeling like getting right up close to the enemy and blasting them away. But you really do have to get close. Shotguns have a range of only a few dozen meters. Sure, but you don't have to aim when you're that close. Shotgun hit cones are extremely wide, letting you hit small or maneuverable targets with barely a thought in their direction. A shadow's worst nightmare, and a kill shot's best friend. Am I right? Well, uh, you're not wrong. Not at all. Kill shots and surges do well with shotguns, because they can close the gap really fast. But scouts like the Shadow actually really like shotguns. No, that's crazy talk. Scouts rely on their speed and small size to stay alive, and the shotgun is a perfect counter. Yeah, but shotguns also have really low energy demands for the amount of damage they do. A scout is fast enough to get in close, and shotguns help it punch above weight. Yeah, well, alright. So shotguns are cool and everything, but they're nowhere near as cool as the other gun. What, the bug zapper? I'm talking about the bug zapper. The arc torrent. Ugh. What? How can you not like arc torrents? They're amazing. Yeah, I know. They're really, really good. They deal massive damage, and while the range seems really short, it's actually quite practical for most engagements, especially once you've upgraded the weapon to rank 4 and 5. Yeah, and don't forget the shock effect, which makes it super hard for the enemy to aim while you're attacking them. And then there's the attack chaining perk, letting you damage up to three enemies at once. Yeah, you can actually use that chain attack to hit an enemy in the back. Just target the enemy behind the lead mech, and the damage arc will deal flanking damage. I didn't even know about that. They're even cooler than I thought. How can you not be excited by arc torrents? Because I'm not the only one who uses them. Oh, yeah. Okay, there is that. They're really tough to counter. They can outdamage almost any other weapon at close range, and close range is really far. You'd be shocked. <laughs> I. Yes, sorry. Pun not intended. But you get what I mean? You can slap arc torrents on a tank and you'll be nearly unstoppable. You don't even need to try and close the gap all that fast. I get what you mean, but I disagree completely. There are loads of ways to counter arc torrents. All right, how? Long arms? Long arms, uh, uh, rail guns, javelins, rocket mortars. I'm noticing that most of those weapons really don't work on the offensive. Okay, sure. But here's another critical issue with both arc torrents and shotguns. Because you need to be at close range, it opens you up to a lot of nasty mech abilities. Hmm, I hadn't considered that. Shock pulse, corrosive blast, system crash, good lord! The reload time on arc torrents is forever. They have to completely recharge after getting shut down by a system crash, or they just spit out a little damage every once in a while. Okay, fair enough. Those could all devastate any mech carrying arc torrents. But you can survive that if you're a tank, and unleash havoc once you've got control again. Possibly, but if you're a tank, having no long-range option can be crippling. Sure, you can try to pick your ground, but if the enemy wants to hit you from far away, there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, so maybe there are ways to deal with arc torrent. We've gone over some good mechs to pair with it, but which ones do you prefer? Somehow I sense you don't have the patience for tanks. You got that right. Kill shots and surge is all the way for me. Surge especially. The ability to stun enemies in a group basically guarantees that I'll be able to arc damage to multiple targets. Speaking of EMP though, my favorite mech for arc torrents is the Zephyr. They've already got to be close for me to use shock pulse. At that point, the range limitations for the arc torrent pretty much vanish. Oh, that would be a deadly ambush indeed. I guess you could pull the same trick with the redox. Sure, but while the redox can actually carry the heavier arc torrents, it has a tendency to get shot while springing its ambush. Well, at least you'd be certain to take someone with you. Sure, but I prefer to survive the experience. Guardians are my mech of choice, if I want to carry high-capacity arc torrents. Guardians or Ares mechs. True, all sound options. Alright, that just about wraps us up. Yep, I hope you all learned something out there. If you want to share your own experiences with these weapons, feel free to leave a comment below. And of course, if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Happy hunting!